हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अश्विन दास सिंह वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल कोड कैटी सो दिस इज अ फर्स्ट डे ऑफ आवर लर्निंग रिएक्ट नेटिव ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज स्प्लैश स्क्रीन ओके एंड वी आर गोइंग टू ऐड आवर कोड कैटी आइकन ओके एज अ स्प्लैश स्क्रीन लोगो ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो व्हाट इज अ स्प्लैश स्क्रीन सो व्हेन एवर यू आर ओपनिंग योर एप्लीकेशन लेट्स ओपन दिस ओके सो यू कैन सी दिस लोगो इज कमिंग अप uh here so this is called splash screen okay so how to do this in react native so it's so easy uh we don't need to uh, think about the things so much okay so so there, there is a library called react native boot splash okay so what we have to do we have to just install this so let's do this So just copy this URL gyan add and enter. Okay. So until this will install, what we have to do next? Uh, so we just need to copy this command and px react native uh, boot splash generate. Okay. And then you can see here uh, we have option of passing logo. Okay. So we just need need to pass the uh, path of our logo. So and make sure that logo image uh, should be in format of uh, svg okay uh, or png okay so let's do this okay it's done now copy this command so here we have this command copy this clear this and paste it okay and my logo is located at uh, d okay so i'll show you here so inside d drive so here you can see i'm having this code catty look okay so i just need to pass uh, the same path so how i'll do this d colon slash and then code catty dot dot svg hit enter okay so what it will do so this will create uh, all the files related to that logo that is going to be used okay so let's open vs code then you can see so it has made all the changes those are required okay like like adding the splash screen logo like this okay so this is my logo so you can see uh, files has been created by this module on its own we don't need to worry about the things like we have to do few of the things so what are those so inside this file called main activity okay inside this i'll show you path so inside this app folder inside this sources then inside this main then java main activity okay so first thing we just need to copy two of the imports make sure to add them then we have to use this okay actually uh, i'm using dot lane so that's why we have to use this so these are same but uh, just do it so let's copy this and add it here okay now hit enter again okay. save then we just need to uh this uh, we just need to hide that splash screen that's why we just need to write this code also inside app.tsx okay so this is my app.tsx i'll paste this here and we just need to import this module so let's update it here okay let's import it here and now one more thing use effect should also be imported so that is also important now okay everything is done now let's try to build android so hit enter okay so this is command under my package dot dot json if i'll show you this this command is here i just uh, run the same command and this will take a few minutes maybe that depends on our system okay so it's not uh, in my hand so we'll see uh, how this will be look like so first of all this will uh, create a uh, application in my emulator so here is my emulator okay so once that application will be installed so it will it will come here okay 
so and whenever you are changing things under android folder then uh, you have to uh, run this command okay so let's see yeah so we are done here so you can see uh, we can uh, we have this uh, logo in our splash screen so that is not re removing okay so you can see this uh, development server is still running that's why so let's uh, refresh it and close the application once so, and here is my application and return server So the first time uh, this things will occur okay and after that uh, you can see it's gone so let's close this application again and try to open it again okay open it okay gone so this is how uh, this will work and uh, so we have all so yeah, uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you really like and uh, want to learn more on React Native, then please uh, hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.